Hi, everyone. My name is Mike Berry. I am the Director of Curriculum and Technology for the Montpelier Roxbury Public Schools. I want to take a moment to talk to you about some of the things that we're doing to prepare for school dismissal, talk to you a little bit about technology, a little bit about learning, and how we're going to communicate during this time. Uh, first, I want to thank all of our educators, all of our families, all of our students. You've been wonderful, very patient, very supportive. We all appreciate it. Um, so a couple of things. During the dismissal period, we will be providing technology support to educators. Uh, we have a virtual help desk that we will be using where staff can contact our tech support staff, who they all know very well. And we'll do our best to remote in and help you with whatever your needs are. Um, obviously, not being face-to-face -face is going to be a little bit different, but we will do the best we can. For families, we're going to attempt to do the same thing, but we're a little more limited on what we can provide. So we have a link in the post to a survey that if as a family member you are having trouble accessing some of the learning for your student, uh, we can attempt to help you out. So give it a shot and see what happens and we'll go from there. And as we go on with all of this work, we're going to learn and we're going to adjust. So we'll make sure to help where we can. A little bit about devices. Um, we are providing devices for families and students that absolutely do not have any sort of device in their home. We're able to do that. Um, if you have a device in your home that students can access at any point during the day, that will be fine. We are not doing synchronous online learning, which is where you would sit down at 8 a.m. and you'd log on and you would do this and be in front of your teacher. We're not doing that on a large scale. So students, as long as they have access to a device at some point in their day, they're going to be fine. Um, so know that. Um, for communications, we're going to try and simplify communications a bit as we move into the dismissal period. So I will be using this blog to be able to post about communication, um, instruction, and technology updates for families and for educators. So there'll be information for both groups here. So you'll see that here. We'll also be using our district social media. We have a page set up for parents uh, with COVID-19 type updates on our websites, so make sure to check that out. And we have a staff page that folks know how to access as well. Those will continue. Um, this blog has a subscribe by email link that you can put in your email and you'll get the updates or just come back here and check frequently. But one of my main goals during all of this as we're moving to more virtual communication is to decrease the amount of emails that people are getting in their inbox. Um, also in this post, there's tech tool updates, two in particular that'll be very helpful for us during this time. I wanna say this, and I wanna say this with respect. Um, if you have not been using a lot of these tech tools in your regular practice, with zero judgment, I say this, if you have not been using these on, on a regular basis, take it slow. You don't need to be a master by Wednesday with this stuff. Explore it, click buttons, don't worry about what will happen, just give it a try and figure it out. Um, but below, there's resources for Google Hangout, which is a big one for us. This will be a way that we can communicate with families, with students, do a lot of different things. And also WeVideo, which is a video editing tool that is very robust and works on all of our Chromebook devices and will be very helpful during this time. So there's resources below. And if you need something, just let me know. We'll figure it out. Uh, another thing I wanted to address is we're getting a lot of well-intentioned emails from folks that are showing big companies, big software companies that are providing free uh, services for students during this time. We've launched into two or three of these free services and they aren't really free, um, which is disappointing and um, frustrating. So we're gonna be very selective about what we do with that and how we proceed. But if you as a school community um, see something that you think would be helpful and it, it is saying that it is free, then we can investigate that and see what, what we need to do. Um, one last thing, an important tip for students and for staff during this time. When you go home and when you're working from home or you're accessing things from home, oftentimes we forget that we're on a personal device and that we are signed into a different email account. And we can't figure out why we can't access our Google Docs and we request access and we share it with private accounts and we do all these things. Make sure that when you are logging in to do school type stuff that you are signed in on Chrome to your school account and everything will work perfectly, I promise you. Um, so those are just some quick things. 
I'm going to have more updates this week and try and do an update every day for folks to know what's going on um, in curriculum, in instruction, and in technology. But if you have questions along the way, don't hesitate to contact me. We're here to help. We're here to figure it out. And thank you again for all your patience and support.